about to start this, this smoker. Make sure this is flipped. These little feet, flip these feet down. And you want that to fake go down in the smoker. Feet down in the smoker. Because when they send them to you, when they send them to you, these feet is pressed in like this. Make sure you push them down. And the feet need to be on the floor of that smoker. I like using a little bit of my chicken bedding. Get stuff crunk. No big deal, lighter. I'm just gonna light that on fire. And now the best thing to do is throw some leaves in there too. Throw a few leaves in there. Let's grab some twigs and weed. Gotta catch on real easy. Don't crowd it, but you want that fire. You want a good, hot fire fire. Okay, you want flames. Hit him one or two times. Look at that flame popping off. Now, I'm going to start sprinkling in some more of that. I want to keep that going. See that flame? Keep that going. Put some more in there. More than you think you should. Keep that flame. That flame is hot. I don't know if you can see the flame. Okay. Keep that thing going. You want to keep packing that. You got to pack that. Make sure you got your hive tool because you're going to need it in a second. You want that nice, thick, bellowing white smoke. Now, you see me packing that down a little bit? Watch this. That means my smoke is going to smoke for a long time. Now, watch this. I'm going to clean up my area with some of this mess I made. Put that in there, too. Always do more than you need to because you don't know how long you're going to be in the hive. But you keep that thing going just like that. Let that bottom. This is the opposite of trying to light a grill. You want this to kind of sm smother out like this. Look at that. And when I'm not using it, I leave my lid off because that hole ain't big enough to let no good oxygen keep that thing going, especially from the bottom. So I will leave mine off like this until I'm ready. Now let's go out here and put a box on these bees. Okay. What I like to do before I get even suited and booted, I'm gonna set this smoke. I'm gonna smoke around the hive. See him right here? I'm gonna let that smoke start hitting them way before it's even time for me to start messing around over here. That gives pl plenty of time. Hit that entrance with it. All right. So now all I'm going to do is add a box because it's early in the year and they are going off. This hive is super. Okay. I like to get suited and booted before I go in the hive. Before I get started. But first, those few things, I like to make sure it is ready. You want your fire before you put your suit on. Because that can be cumbersome. Make sure all of this is zipped up good. Don't mess that up. Because they will come in and Give you a kiss right on the lips. Once you got that all zipped up, then put your gloves on because it's hard to get your gloves on. I mean, hard to zip up your clothes with these gloves on, especially when they brand new. Bend them up a little bit. They're probably stiff. 
Okay, here's the other box from a failed hive. They just, they kept losing queens. Don't know why, they just kept losing queens. So, it's perfect and it's still in perfect condition. I went through it and checked it. And all we are gonna do is get right on in here. And all I'm doing today, I'm gonna take a quick peek at what's going on and then I'm gonna just set this box right on top. Always, every blue moon, when you remember, hit your smoker. Okay, so. The high two in your smoker is everything. I'm going to smoke down here in the front of the entrance again so they know I'm coming. I'm not gentle with it, trust me. So, now I'm gonna lift up the telescoping lid and hit a little smoke under there so they know I'm coming. This is the feeder, so it shouldn't be nobody up here. Try not to set this your smoker on no grass. Try to set it on something solid. Cause it will light on fire. All right, as you can see, this was the feeder and it was full of nectar and they ate all of that. So that's wonderful. So let's go ahead and get it cracking. Oh, they got that thing glued down so good. Let me just hit them one more time. See you coming out. They want to know what's going on. This is a strong hive. I'm gonna take a peek down in there and see if, do they really need another box? Let me get them going on downstairs. Come on ladies. You don't want too much smoke because it'll make your honey taste like smoke. This is how you use your hive tool. You get in there, you pry them up. They hate these doggone, they hate these wax frames. Ain't they hate that. I'm just gonna take a peek in. I'm showing you how to use this tool. Carefully inspect. Now, I'm gonna actually show you, we was talking about your frame hanger. Hang that right on the side of the box. Now I'm gonna get this one off the ground and hang it right in there. Here's where the whole party is right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh man, they in there partying. Mama must be right here. Mama must be right here. Look at that. I'm looking out, see if I see mama. Right now I see nectar. You gotta pay attention to everything that you pulling out right now. I'm gonna put it back in the same order. I take out two frames and then from here on out I just scoot, scoot over. And I'm just gonna do a quick inspection. I don't wanna bug them too much. But they are jamming. Look at all that nectar. You can see it in the sun. <laughs> capped honey on this side. Plenty of capped honey and nectar. Cause this hive is strong. 
I'm gonna show you all the way down in, in there. If, if, if the camera can pick it up. You can see them all the way down in there doing their thing down in here. Down in the bottom box down there and everything. So let's just keep going. I'm not gonna run through this because mama might be here somewhere to just hide. They are going to town. Look at all that cap brew, cap worker brew. You see that at the bottom? That's a queen cell. Down there at the bottom, right here. Let me see if you can see that. That's a queen cell that I gotta figure out why are they doing that. Okay, I'm looking for larva now. I got plenty of cat brew, but now I'm looking for larva. We gotta show signs of a, a healthy laying queen. And so far, I don't see any on that. Now I do have to find her. Plenty of pollen. This is all honey and nectar. Here's another queen cell they building on the side. I'm gonna remove that. First I need to, I should have looked in it first, but no, it's, not, it's nothing in there, it's dry. You keep your wax, put it in your pocket. Here she go, here she go. Oh, and she a big girl. See her with the dot on her back? I'm going to do my best. Yes! She is. Where you at, baby? Matter of fact, not only is she here, she laying, so you couldn't see her. Right here, see her? See her family? Big girl. She sitting here laying in the cells. She is laying. You see her dead center with the dot on her back? Big old girl dragging her wagon. She literally just dropped an egg in the cell. She disappeared for a second for me. All right, I'm going to put her back. I knew mama had to be right there. I told you, once you be keep for a while, you start understanding how they move. So I'm going to put her back as carefully as I can. I'm going to keep inspecting family. So I'm going to catch the queen in the queen catcher. So you're going to get firsthand view of that. So, I'm holding it with one hand. Let me find her again. Here she is, right here. So, I'm just going to scoop her gently up in the queen catcher. And now she's in here. Can you see her? The workers can get away, but mama is stuck. I'm just going to set her back down in between some frames. So they know she's still in the hive. That way, they know mom in the hive, she's safe. They won't start acting up if they still smell her and hear her. And I can finish inspecting the hive for more queen cells and everything else. So I'm gonna keep going, move this faster. I told you, this is never perfect. You always gotta be ready for what you about to run into next. Give him a little smoke of dope. This is why we told you we don't restrict the queen because we let her move how she want to move. She all the way up here. All right, these are some huge cells. These are like drone size cells. Ought to get rid of this whole frame. Hive beetle. Get rid of them whenever you see them. But you see, again, popsicle stick. Popsicle stick. I hear they starting to roar. They know I got mama. As long as you got mama somewhere, 
they're gonna start giving you a little rough time so that's when I start moving a little bit faster okay they ain't doing nothing out here they stand in the center popsicle stick frame and that's all the way at the end so that's good news all right I'm gonna scoop all my frames back to where they were I know mama is over here and she's safe, so I'm not worried about crunching her. Now I'm gonna move mama over, over here, because I am going to go down in one more box. Take your frame holder off and let them know I'm coming downstairs. Hear that? All right. I'm going to set this over here. And I'm going to start moving through here. Let me let them know I'm downstairs now. I can see right now it's plenty of cap tunny. Plenty of cap tunny. So they're functioning through just the center of this hive. They got that so tight. This thing is locked in. This is propolis, people. You can't get them frames to move. That's that propolis V glue. They make. They're stronger than anything you can buy. Gotta move, little sister. Lee, the stronger the hive, I guess the stronger the glue. There we go. I'm gonna hang this back on down here, even though it got the one from upstairs. I know where it went. And all I'm gonna do now is move through here a little bit. Come on, scoot over. Come on, lady, break it up. Now I can see. Man, when I say they got stuff glued to perfection, all right, this frame is empty on this side, but I can feel the honey and nectar at the top on that side. I can feel the weight. A lot of nectar, pollen coming in. Now I'm looking for eggs. Again, seeing if the queen even been down here. I'm gonna just keep it moving, okay? But I'm looking for eggs. Come on, ladies. Give me a break already. Scoot over. Second, white plastic frame they built on. Honey, nectar. Let me see if I see any eggs. Nope, pollen. Okay, pollen, honey, nectar. Man. 
man, they got this thing in here like, golly. Mm. Look at that. Okay, we got some cap larvae. Cap worker brood. Cap worker brood on both sides. Pollen. Nectar. We got pollen. Nectar. I'm still looking for eggs though, family. And I'm not seeing uh, the sun is at a perfect angle where I should be able to see the eggs fairly easily. And I don't. I see, I see larvae. I see larvae, bag. Okay, so I'm I'm done inspecting. I've seen what I need to see. That's what I was looking for, family. I'm looking for, is she laying eggs? She's super productive right now, huh? Yeah, I watched her lay. I watched her put her, her butt down in the, in the cell and lay an egg. I'm seeing larvae. I'm seeing plenty of pollen, plenty of nectar, plenty of honey. This is a healthy hive. That's all we're doing now is closing it up. Scoot over, ladies. Okay. Now I'll get my frame back off of the rack and put it back where I got it. It's gonna be a little tight fit because that was my B space. Let me flip that around. Okay, that's it family. Stuff like that you wanna, that burr comb, go ahead, go ahead and scrape that off. That's just gonna be trouble for you later. This little mama might be sick. Let's scrape that off. Keep that wax, keep that. It's worth more than gold. They trying to help their sister stuck in the wax. I'm blowing them so they can go back downstairs so I can put this top on without crushing too many of them. All right, I'm about to put mama back on. Back on track. I'm going to, now I'm going to bring you in because I'm about to release mama back into the hive. Let me get this back on first. Let me scoot that out. See, mama's still in there. I'm going to see if she turn around so you can see the dot on her back. Mama can't get out. Where did she go? Oh, there she go, right there. See her? Mama's in the cage, and I'm just going to release her back into the fold put this frame last frame back in all right now as you can see I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little better or I guess I can't now I'm going to put her right back in here let her go right there see her there she is see her come on little mama go down in the hole i'm not gonna shake her off i'm gonna let her go off on her own here she is right here she's on my glove See that, see her? She won't leave me. 
There she go. See her? Right here, family. She went, just went back down. There she go. Oh, she was beautiful. Now they're going to swarm on that all the time because her scent is still in this cap. So I'm just going to set this off to the side. Now I'm going to smoke her and her sister down. Listen how quiet, how much quieter they got. They was roaring hard, remember? Let me get them back down there because I'm about to put that extra box on the top. I'm just giving them space because it's warming up. It's getting really warm. And they are really, really gentle. Ugh. That's what I was going to do. Okay, so I just put our extra box. I just put our extra box on there. Slid it on. Gave them some more space. Some more room. And uh, I'm going to put this feeder back on just for giggles. I might put some more feed in here. Okay, everybody. It's early in the morning. This is the next day. So what I planned on doing was just showing you how I feed them. Right here, I have a mixture of honey and raw brown sugar. So I'm going to show you how much easier this top feeder is than any other one. It's less invasive for other bees to come and rob them out. And it's just simple. You see, I don't have on any gear because with this one, you don't need it. Let's watch this. Okay. Remove the brick. <clears throat> As you see, nobody's coming out to greet me. That's because they can't come through this screen. So all I'm going to all I'm going to have to do refill this with our new syrup. And as soon as they smell that, they'll be up here. Now, this doesn't leak or anything. So you don't have to worry about it leaking down into the hive. And it's that simple. So what they're gonna do is, they're gonna come up the middle piece here. You see the holes in there? They're gonna come up that middle and they're just gonna walk on the screen and get as much as they want and go back down. That's all to it. You don't have to fill both sides up. It just depending on what they need at the time. So I just put in about a half a gallon and that's all. Once I start seeing a move on that, then I may put some more in. They already tackled this side. I need to clean that out. Now I'm just going to put my lid back on. No harm, no foul. Didn't bother nobody. Interrupt nothing. Put my brick back on. And that's it. It's this easy to feed your hive when you have a top feeder. This top feeder is the best top feeder I've ever dealt with. I didn't used to like them, but once I ran into this one, this is the one I use. I don't even use my other methods of feeding anymore. This is the only way I do it. So if you have any questions, comment below. The nectar flow is about to start. And uh, now I'm just gonna put the lid. I don't use the telescoping lid with this. Not, not on top of the feeder. You don't need it. Oh, look at what I did. Mm, that's stupid. So, there you go. Oh, I can't leave that. Dang. I can't leave it. I can't. This will be here for the rest of my life if I don't get this off. So, I'm about to do something stupid. And I don't even want this little gap. I'm gonna lift it all the way up. See if I can, there we go. We got it, we got it. Sometime family, with this game, you can't be lazy. You gotta go ahead and go hard with it or you'll pay for it later. Like what I really wanna do now is move this entrance that they jacked up a long time ago. 
while we here, we suited and booted. This is sometimes the best time to get stuff done. I'm gonna remove this all together. Look how they glued that thing in there. This old piece of junk. I bought them a new one. That's gonna help protect them from predators better. And this is really gonna help. They don't need this at all right now. So I'm gonna take this interest reducer and replace it with the one that if they start getting robbed out, I can protect them better. Just like this, this is the new entrance I put on there. So now I can control the flow of the hive. If they start getting robbed out, all I gotta do is slide those yellow tabs inward and it'll close it all the way off to only have as many entrances as I need them to have so they can protect their hive. That is very important and it also keeps out pests like mice. That's important too. All right. So you guys, that's pretty much it. Stand over here. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to ask. All right. Pretty much this was textbook. In and out as least depths as possible so this is what we accomplished today we found the queen we found eggs we found larvae we found pollen we found nectar huh yes got rid of the queen cells that's what was in my pocket we found pollen nectar eggs we found the queen actually saw her lay an egg so it's a strong hive, you know. So with that being said, we gonna just let them, leave them alone for a while and let them recuperate from the madness I just put them through. But this is the game, you guys. It was that simple, all right? I hope you guys, well, I hope this helped you. Live Farmer 73, I love you and I'm out.